This stunning still life tells a story of the modern. In one image, it brings together two seminal figures who fired the story of 20th century art, the painter Paul Gauguin and the dealer Ambroise Vollard. In 1885, we find Gauguin really finding his mojo. His style has evolved from the feathery fast brushwork of his Impressionist period, and in this still life, we can see how it's evolved into something richer, deeper, more meaningful, and more mysterious. We can witness what close attention he's paid to Paul Cezanne at this point in the odd sense of space, the way that these constructed parallel brushstrokes fit together, but also in the way that the forms have a, a monumental solidity to them. These are certainly flowers, but they're also abstractions. More than anything, there's a sense of atmosphere and mystery here that's 100% Gauguin's own. This is clearly a step towards pont Aven and on to Martinique and Tahiti and the highly expressionistic use of color and form that will characterize Gauguin's later symbolist work. Gauguin is one of the greatest colorists in modern art and the bright blue background here gives an almost spiritual intensity to the work, evoking the lapis lazuli, the most precious of all pigments used by artists during the Renaissance. In 1885, Gauguin has settled in Copenhagen with his wife Meta and their children. Here we see him reimagining the traditional genre of the still life by bringing together several objects which are very meaningful for him, the vase, the plate, and the mandolin. He's already on the way to creating a sense of personal mythology. He combines these meaningful objects with the very corner of a painting by Guillaume, an artist friend and a picture he owned and took with him to Copenhagen. It hints at the Impressionism from which Gauguin sprang, but now we can see in this work, it's only the corner, and he's actually doing so much more. By 1922, this painting belonged to Ambroise Vollard, perhaps the most important single promoter of the avant-garde in Paris in the early 20th century. This is from a group of works recently restituted to the Vollard heirs, including a judgment of Paris by Renoir and a seascape, and also a beautiful work on paper by Paul Cézanne. Vollard was a legend and a very important supporter of Gauguin. They had a complex and fiery relationship, but Vollard funded the final years of Gauguin's work in Tahiti. From showing Cézanne in the 1890s through Picasso in 1901 and Matisse, on through the early years of the 20th century, Vollard is really the key figure in showing shocking radical art in Paris. He was also responsible for many innovations within the world of dealing itself, from paying stipends and buying out studios and curating one-man shows. These are practices that continue to influence the art market today. Rarely is so much history packed into one beautiful image as this, and it's a great privilege for us to be offering these works on behalf of the Vollard heirs at Sotheby's today.